Hey everyone, in this lesson, we are going to make our very first iOS app. And it looks like this. I hope you are excited as I am to get going. Um, so it's a simple little app. All it is is we have a button here in the middle that we can click and it changes the background and the uh, text right here, okay? And so this is what we are going to be building. Uh, just a quick word about what to expect in this lesson. Obviously, if this is your first time using Xcode and or Swift, you're going to have a lot of questions. Um, I'm going to go slowly, emphasizing important fundamentals, but also glazing over a lot of things that we will cover in more depth in later lessons. After all, we can't cover everything in a single lesson. So the goal of this lesson is to just get you a taste of Xcode and Swift and be able to see some working code. So without further ado, let's open Xcode and get started. When you open Xcode, you can go to File, New, Project, and you will um, see this view right here, okay? So make sure you're here under the iOS section, and we are going to be selecting Single View App. You can see that there are several uh, other templates here for Augmented Reality, Master Detail, Sticker Pack, etc. Um, we're just going to be working with the Single View App. This is the most basic template. It will give us just a single view to start with. All right, so select it and say next. And then we have some options for our new project. We're gonna go through these. So we need to give it a product name, okay? So I'm just going to call mine day, night. Okay, and then the next thing will be team. All right, so this is your development team. This is all of the, um, teams that you are a member of as a Apple developer. It's okay if you aren't part of one or if you don't have your own, um, you can select none, that's fine. Then here we have the organization name. And if you don't have an organization name, that's totally fine, you can just put your name. And then we have the organization identifier. And for this, you should put it in reverse DNS or reverse domain name style. So this means that if you had a website, um, so for instance, johnnybcodes.com, your organization identifier would be the reverse of that, com.johnnybcodes. And then we have the bundle identifier, and this is uh, created from your organization identifier and your uh, product name. So you can see here that our bundle identifier is com.johnnybcodes.daynight. And this ID is how your app is identified as unique from all the other apps out there. Next, make sure that the language is Swift. And if use Swift UI is checked, then uncheck that. I know you're probably dying to learn all about the hottest new thing from Apple, but we will get into Swift UI later on in this course. And then these last three check marks you don't need to uh, worry about for now. And then we say next, and now we can save our project. I'm just gonna put mine on the desktop and say create. Very good, and now we are here in uh, Xcode. All right, so Xcode is an enormous application. This is the official Apple IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, to build applications for all the Apple platforms. It might feel a little overwhelming at first, but little by little, we will be exploring and uncovering more and more of Xcode until you feel comfortable navigating and using it. To start out, Click right here and select an iOS simulator. I'm currently on the beta, um, so I have this guy right here, but go ahead and select your iPhone XR here, and then click on this play button, okay? So what we have here, this is a list of all of the simulators that you can use uh, with Xcode as well as any devices that are currently um, plugged in. All right, so we're gonna check the iPhone XR and then press this button right here that looks like a play button. And what that's gonna do is build our code, compile it, and then run it on the simulator that we chose. So in this case, an iPhone XR, and because uh, we haven't done anything yet, it pops up as just an empty screen, so that's perfect. All right, now let's take a look at the two files we are going to uh, be focusing on in this and the next lesson, and that is the viewcontroller.swift file and the main.storyboard. And we're gonna start in the main.storyboard file. And what you see here is called the interface builder. 
And it's called that because, well, this is where we build our interface. You are going to hear the abbreviation UI a lot in this course. This stands for user interface. In other words, what the user sees and interacts with. So here we have a blank iPhone canvas. And if you click on this button up here, this plus button, you will see a whole bunch of UI elements that you are probably familiar with from other iOS apps that you may have used. We have things like labels and buttons and segmented controls and sliders and switches and a whole bunch of cool things. And we can actually just uh, drag and drop these items right into our view. So let's drag in a button, uh, maybe a slider. Um, what else do we got here? Uh, some switches. And you can drag in whatever uh, elements you want. And then we can actually run this. And we can see these elements right here in our app and we can even interact with them. And just a FYI, you can use Command R to run uh, the simulator instead of having to go up here and click on it. I will be using that a lot. So if you see, hear me say, and then I'm gonna run it and then it just pops up, that's because I'm using the keyboard shortcut. So let's take a look again at the app we want to build. And it looks like we are going to need a label and a button. So let's go ahead and add uh, those two elements to our device here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just delete these three elements here. And we are going to add back a label and a button. Now if we take a look here, we can change which type of device is being used as our canvas here. So if I click right here, it says view as iPhone 10R. You can see here all of the Apple devices. So we can change it to say uh, an iPhone 8, I believe, and then we just get the square. We can do an iPad Pro. And you may notice that the relative positioning of our elements is changing with each different device, okay? Um, and in later lessons, we're gonna learn how to keep things right where we want them. Uh, but for right now, just make sure that you have the same device selected as I do, which is the iPhone 10R right here, okay? Then we can uh, close that. Now the next thing that I want to show you is when we select a UI element, over here in this right hand pane, which is called the inspectors pane, if we click right here on the attributes inspector, you will see all of these attributes for this UI element, which is a UI label. You can see that we can change the text, hello. We can change the color. We can change the font, um, the alignment. We can do a whole bunch of stuff here with the attributes inspector. So let's check out our finished app again. And it looks like we're gonna start with uh, lights off. Okay, so our text is going to be white. and looks like we wanna make it a little bit bigger. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right here with the font. I'm going to just bump this size up to maybe 25 or so. And then I'm gonna change the color right here to white color. And, uh-oh, looks like we can't see it anymore. So next thing that we wanna do is change the background color of our view. So if you look right here to the left, we have what is called the document outline. And if you're not seeing it, then you can click on this little button down here in the corner and it'll pop out. And this shows the view hierarchy of our view controller scene. All right, so we have a view controller object and it has a root view right here, okay? So you can see it highlighted in blue. This is the root view of the view controller and every view controller has one. And then we can see that our elements that we have added are right here inside of this view. So we're gonna change the background color of this view here. So selecting the view, we can come over here to background and we are going to change that to black color. And there we go, now we can see our label again. And let's go ahead and change that back to um, say lights off. And then I'm gonna just grab that and kind of center it. You can use these snap grids and that's looking good. 
And then going back to our finished app again, we have this button here, and this button looks way cooler than this button, right? So what we can do is our buttons, they can have text and or images. So let's go ahead and add some image assets, okay? So over here in our left-hand pane, this is called the navigator. And here in the project navigator, we wanna check out this folder called assets, okay? So this is where you're gonna put all of your images and uh, the images for your app icon as well, right? So in this lesson, in the resources, you can download a uh, folder called resources. And inside of it, we have these three images, okay? So grab those three images and go ahead and just drag those and drop them right into your assets folder, okay? Just like that. And don't worry why there are uh, three of them. Uh, we'll talk more about that later. All right, so back to main.storyboard and select our button. And then here in the attributes inspector, we are going to come right here to where it says image. And we're going to select button right here. There we go. So now we have that image set as our button. And then we can get rid of the text by just deleting it right there and pressing return, there we go. That's looking pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and center that a little bit. And that's looking pretty good. All right, so again, make sure that you have the iPhone XR selected, that this and this right here match. And then we're gonna press run. And there we go, looking good. All righty, we are going to wrap up this lesson here and finish up in the next lesson where we're actually gonna to get to write some code. But first, let's recap what we learned in this lesson. Okay, we learned how to create a new Xcode iOS project and about its file structure. We learned how to run the simulator. We learned about the interface builder and how to add UI elements and how to change their attributes. Next up, the code. I'll see you there.